What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Rocking and rolling. Yiggy, yes, y'all, and yo, check it out. I know I'm beating a horse, beating a dead horse with a stick, so to speak. And uh, I really, I'm tired of doing, stu- you know, videos on creatine being safe and all that. It's just, it's played out, dog. It really is played out. But here's the deal, man. Here's the deal. Hold on. Oh, that looks good with the, the wristband. Just makes your arm look better. That's why you need to buy one. Check it out. So I got an email from Bruce Neller, who's um, a part of Giant Sports. And um, Bruce is a really, really, really smart guy. And I wanted to share this email and some of the evidence that creatine is safe. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read some of this email. I'm also going to evidence. I'm going to link down below. Excuse me. The studies referenced in this, uh, in this email, basically. And here's the deal. Let me just read this to you. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, he basically took a product complaint by a customer who um, who asked if there's a risk of kidney damage and what is safe about creatine. And there's misinformation out there. The media still says that creatine is a steroid. And I mean, people are just stupid. They think that because creatine has been proven to work, that it has to be inherently dangerous. Now, let me just get in here and fix that for you and just relay this information to you because I think it'd be very helpful, um, especially for those who get asked these questions as alphas as mavens, as leaders in this, uh, you know, community. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Okay. All right. So, um, creatine was safe for healthy people. You know, I've always assumed that, but there's a very strong case regarding the efficacy and safety of creatine mon- monohydrate. So there were two things that we are going to address here. One, what evidence is there specifically that creatine is safe for long-term use? And is there evidence that specifically that creatine does not cause renal damage? Regarding the first point, there's excellent study that had 60 subjects in it. 40 received 4 grams per day of creatine monohydrate and 20 were placebo controlled. That lasted a full two years. That is a very, very, very long-term study. Um, the subjects were older and had Parkinson's as creatine and its analogs may have some use in ameliorating neurological conditions, but nonetheless, this study correlated a high degree of safety, especially renal parameters, which were looked at extensively. And daily creatine monohydrate use at four grams per day for two years continuously. I'm going to link the abstract down below. It's the first one, um, ending in number 1903405 at the URL. Regarding the second point, creatine monohydrate may actually improve renal health. There's a study in which nine male subjects, aged 18 to 35, were given a whopping 10 grams of creatine monohydrate for 90 days. Study looked at some better, more reliable and specific markers of renal health and it correlated that kidney function and health actually improved slightly in the nine subjects who ingested the 10 grams per day of creatine monohydrate for three months. So not only did it not affect it negatively, but it actually affected it positively, which is actually awesome. Abstract is posted down below and ends in the number 81. The myth that creatine causes kidney damage or is bad for your health seems to have been essentially refuted by these studies and a few more. Um... The next time someone asks that creatine causes kidney damage or unsafe to consume long-term, you don't have two citations to refute them. So, I mean, if someone goes, creatine's unsafe, it causes cancer, it causes this, causes kidney damage, it's bad for your kidneys, it's a steroid. Rep, you know, basically just show them these abstracts because I get asked this all the time. So creatine in its most commercialized form, such as um, creatine monohydrate, even Promera, all that good stuff. Um, Here's the thing, it's going to be the most studied efficacious safe dietary ingredient for sale in the marketplace. And it's been studied in depth, it's been studied so many damn times, and it's one of the most studied supplement ingredients on the market. So the long story short, there's no reason to avoid creatine. Creatine is not unhealthy for your kidneys. I'll say that back in these studies. And also creatine should not cause you to hold, people always say, oh, how how long before a contest you cut out creatine? I'm on creatine now. It doesn't seem like I'm moist. (laughs) It doesn't seem like I'm moist. The bottom line is creatine is going to draw water intracellularly. And if you're looking for a creatine that doesn't cause you to hold water, you're not really taking creatine. So all those guys go, CE doesn't cause me to bloat. Creatine cluster has been debunked. The creatine that I recommend most, I have my brand, Ethitech Nutrition Creatine Monohydrate. Um... You know, it's quick, it's easy, it's efficient, it's under 10 bucks for 300 grams. There's other good brands out there. Obviously, any kind of German creatine out there is good. Proceps has a creatine. Look for creatine monohydrate. Um, creatine HCL, it's okay. It's not bad. I don't think it's worth the price difference. And if you look at the dosing, it's just the same as creatine monohydrate if you go by their dosing scale, which I've done a video on before. Um, that's it, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. Anything further, just let me know. I'm Mark Lovell, TigerFitness.com. 
Because people still think creatine is bad for you. Fucking idiots. It's not a game.